Hi everyone, welcome to another RPA tutorial video. In this video, I'm going to talk about SAP automation using a very RPA popular tool called UiPath. So I'm going to show you here like, you know, very, uh, very uh, simple step. If you follow those steps, it will be very helpful for you to automate SAP. Those who are very new to this channel, I would request you to kindly refer to this video's description section where I have mentioned all the you know my previous rpa related videos in case if you are interested or you are a beginner in the world of rpa then you can refer to those video and it will helpful for you to you know understand about the rpa all right so so let's start so here basically i'm going to show you how ui path you can use ui path to log into sap and you can perform different uh, you know actions okay so let me show you this is the sap so here like bot is going to do it will do a click on this connections then after that it will do a double click on this server and after that it's like you know you have to put the username and password so this step i'm going to show you in a very simple way so let me go to the ui path so this is my ui path studio so let me click on the recording i'm selecting the basic recording and here i'm going to use this uh, keystrokes okay so here i'm going to click on because first i have to select the connection then i have to click on the sap server so i will click on the click okay and i will select this and i will do a click so you can see here uh, ui path automatically capture this uh, three fields which is available here in sap login pad favorite shortcuts and the connections okay so let me go here so you have to select this uh, uh, this connections and you have to put here in the search text okay so what it will do so out of these three available uh, you know result it will only look for this connection and it will do a click okay so let me click on finish okay so it successfully uh, clicked there now i want to click on this sap server to open the sap page okay so again i will this time i will select a double click so here I will select double click and same, I will select the SAP server. So once you click there, it will uh, read the available value. So currently we have only one information available there. So it is selecting this SAP server. So in case if you have, you know, if you, if you move to production, so you might get like, you know, more than 10 or 20 records there. So it's like good practice to uh, follow this uh, step. Okay, so here I'm writing the SAP server. And one thing I want to tell you here, you can see here this scrapping method we are using here is a native. So you can automate SAP using the OCR method also. Okay. So let me select this to native and I'm going to click on finish. So as soon as I click on finish, you, you, you can see uh, my UI path bot is able to click on that particular SAP server. And after that, it opened the SAP window. So next is I have to log into uh, this uh, SAP using my user details and the password. Okay. All right. So again, I will click on this time. I'm going to click on the type. Okay. And here I'm going to write down the username. I'm clicking here. So let me click on no. And I'm writing the username. Okay. And here I will use a tab to go to the password field. Okay. So from here, these all the keys keystrokes are available. I will select the tab and I will do an enter. All right. So next again, I will use this type. Okay. And this time I will write down the password. So I will select this and I will put the password and I will do an enter. Okay. So next is like I have to press the enter to log into the SAP. So this time I will use a single click. Okay. So I'm going to select this option so here i will do a click okay so it will take some time and it will uh, give you the option so this is like you know uh, the code for the enter so i will select this and i will put here and i will do a finish okay okay it seems now this is not working so i will go with this click activities okay and this time 
I will select this. All right, so let me do a save. Okay, so after saving this, so it will generate a code here. So let me connect it to the node. Okay. So let me do a double click. You can see here we are selecting the connections, then we are doing a double click on the SAP. Then I'm writing the username and the password, right? And then I'm doing a double click. So I think this will not work. So I'm deleting this. So this this will work fine. All right. So I'm going to run this uh, process flow. So to check whether it is working fine or not. So let me close this. And now we will see whether UiPath bot is able to log into the SAP or not. So let me run this. All right, it, it is working fine till here. So you can see here we have logged in successfully. So next is like I, I want to write this XK03 code here and I will put down uh, some information. So let me show you manually how we are going to do this. After writing the code, it will ask you to put some vendor numbers. So I'm putting like 9001. After that, I have to select this and I have to click on the enter. So this is the another step which I'm going to uh, do here. So let me go back okay again i'm going to ui path and i'm clicking on the recording so this time i will use a type okay and i will write here xk03 the transition code and i will look for the enter enter keyword so you can see here this is my enter keyword Okay, so till now this is fine. The next is I have to write down the vendor number here. So again, I will go to type and I will click my cursor here. I will select and put it no here. And I will write this time 9002. Okay, then I will. Okay, the next is I have to select this box. So I will go home. This time I will use a mouse click. And in the corner, I will select this. Okay, so once I select this again, I have to click on the enter again. I will go to this place and I will select the enter. Okay, so let me do a save. So let me go to the code, and you can see here we are writing the XK03, then we are writing the vendor code. Okay, then we are doing a enter keyword okay so let me go back so in case if you want you can write it to other different name like opening t code xk03 and for this opening and log into sap okay so i will connect this uh, code with this this one so it can run in a proper way okay so this is all about this code so let me close this sap and we will see whether bot is able to run completely or not so let me click here on the run okay okay bot is able to log into sap and now you can see all right so let me go to the sap page okay so so it seems like it is working fine so uh, you know this is all about uh, today's uh, this uh, rpa tutorial uh, video so i hope you like this uh, video and find helpful to understand how we can automate sap using ui path and i would request you to kindly share your feedback in the comment section or suggestion in case if you have anything i would highly appreciate your uh, you know comment and uh, suggestions which will help me to make uh, other videos better than uh, this video okay and those who are uh, very new to this channel i would request you to kindly subscribe my channel to get more rpa related videos in case if you want to learn rpa in case if you need any help and support related with the rpa projects you can get in touch with us in this mail id rpa.developers1 at gmail.com so thank you so much for your time guys thank you